Hi, good morning. I'm back again with another headline of Ukraine. The mayor of Kherson agreed with the occupiers on the life of the city. Kherson mayor Igor Koli Hayavi said that during the visit of armed representative to the city council, it was agreed on how the city would fa function under occupation. Through the mayor denies that these were negotiations with Russian occupiers. These were not a negotiation or something that rumors had already spread about. No one had agreed on anything with me. Occupants killed an OSE employee in Kharkiv. As a result of the shelling of Russian troops on March 1st, an OSE employee was killed. This was reported in an OSE report for March 1st, which was published on the organization website on March 2nd. One local employee of the mission was killed as a result of shelling, the report says. Negotiation between Ukraine and Russia will be held tonight. Ukraine will demand from Russia to stop the shelling of Ukrainian cities because a large number of the civilians in the country have died since the invasion of the invaders. Repeated talks between Ukraine and Russia will be held tonight, March 2nd. The media wrote about this with references to, to, an, to a member of the Ukrainian delegation. Japan to freeze assets of former Russian banks to keep up with EU. Japanese finance minister Shunichi Suzuki said the Japanese government will freeze the assets of former Russian banks to keep up with the latest European Union financial sanction against Russia over its invasion of Ukraine. The UN announced a million refugees from Ukraine in a week. In the week since the start of full-scale invasion and war of Russia against Ukraine, one million people left our country. In just seven days, we have witnessed the departure of million refugees from Ukraine to neighboring countries, he wrote on Twitter on Wednesday evening. Tribunal in The Hague launches investigation against Russia for attack on Ukraine. Chief Prosecutor of the, Net of the International Criminal Court, ICC, Karim Khan, said that the investigation of war crimes committed by Russia has begun. The tribunal in The Hague has launched an investigation into Russia's war crimes of its attack on Ukraine. Please subscribe for more headlines like this. Bye. Thank you.